Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Arnold Rogers. In today's video, we're going to have a look at technology using Training Peaks and Garmin to help make my training more efficient and better understand exactly what's going on. So my training day starts off first thing in the morning with my alarm that goes off. I get up and pretty much the first thing I do, walk into the bedroom and jump on the smart scale. The smart scale I'm using is the Garmin Index. I've been using it for about a year. This is actually the older version. They've since bought out a new version. I pretty much jump on the scale and using the Wi-Fi network in the house, it automatically syncs to my Garmin Connect account, which in turn then syncs through to my training peaks. I've done this on a regular thing. I pretty much try and do it every day. I get my body mass index, my body fat, water percentage, bone density, and obviously my weight. And whilst they're not really important metrics for me to be tracking, I use it as a guide just to make sure that I'm actually getting enough calories in. Um, and also it just helps me get a better understanding of my weight compared to my performance. Uh, I'm a very much a data-driven athlete. I really enjoy looking into the, to the numbers and to the data behind everything that I'm doing. It's a real insight into everything that's going on. I use a piece of software called Training Peaks, um, which is a pretty advanced bit of software for, for training and training plans. My coach uploads all of my training sessions to Training Peaks uh, and then it all synchronizes across to my watch. All the sessions are already synchronized onto my watch. Everything syncs with my calendar. Uh, at any moment, I can just quickly flick on, see what training I've got, see all the paces, and then also it can analyze all of the data afterwards. If we jump into Training Peaks now, um, this is the main screen that you come to when you first go in. Uh, looking across to the left, okay, you've got an events panel. Uh, over here, you can put various events in. For me, I've currently got my Gibraltar Athletics Top of the Rock race, which is telling me is in 12 days time. Uh, this here is my performance management chart. And then below a list of events that I have uh, pinpointed on my calendar as either races that are confirmed or potential races. Below that, you can put goals in. Okay, you can add key dates, times, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and obviously tick those off as and when you meet those goals. In the center, okay, we have our training area. So you can see today I've obviously had a cycle. And then for this afternoon, I have scheduled a one hour run and then drills and strides. Uh, you can see from the drills and strides with the grey lines here, this has been a built workout. So when we go into calendar in a second, we'll have a look at that and see uh, exactly how we build that workout. I'm not going to get too much detail into this, but as you can see, further stuff that's coming up tomorrow, all the training and power zones based on where I'm currently at. And then over on the right hand side, okay, we've got a performance management chart. Um, those of you who've used Strava Premium will have seen something similar to this before. Training Peaks are kind of the pioneers of it. Basically what this does is it takes uses your threshold uh, that you input into training peaks or your threshold heart rate or pace um, and it does a calculation based on every training session you've done to create what's called a training stress score. That training stress score is then plotted onto a chart and gives you your fitness, fatigue and form. Uh, this is just an overview of the last uh, day, 6 days, 21 days and then 365 days. and. Basically, wherever this graph is, in essence, is kind of where you're at with your fitness. Uh, so moving across then into the calendar section, uh, this is laid out in a calendar format, as in uh, each week and then days going across from left to right. Uh, as you can see, I had yesterday my sleep data and my weight. I didn't actually do a weight yesterday. However, on Sunday, I did quite a few weights in here. They've all come across. Sleep hours transferred from my phone, so a combination of me inputting my sleep hours on my phone and my watch that monitors sleep throughout the night, that data is all transferred onto here and again, can just go onto here. As you can see, two runs yesterday, double runs. Uh, initially, all the workouts that my coach puts in here are gray and they are in the future. They can turn either amber, red or green. Green being perfect, you've pretty much completed it, I think within about 2% of what was asked. Amber, slightly outside of that, so you completed it, but it wasn't quite what was asked, or red is a incomplete workout. In here, we can see all of the stuff that's been planned. Now, I, I get this in quite a simple form from my coach, just duration, but you can put all sorts of stuff in here in distance, training stress scores, uh, and all, all that sort of stuff. Um, I can also leave a comments on here, so if I want to pass on information to my coach, I can put descriptions, uh, post-race comments, I can put how I felt, 
perceived exertion, all that sort of stuff, and it provides really good feedback to my coach. Uh, again, like you can do in Strava, you can attach bits of equipment, shoes, bikes, etc. Um, but for me, I only do that in Strava. If we go into a workout that was done, obviously this completed side then gets populated. Green because I completed the desired amount. 35 minutes was what was asked, 38 minutes was what was completed. And then I get all of the information below. All this is the basic data here. If we want to go into it a bit further, we can click analyze. Uh, we get the map data, all different sorts of graph data on here and even more information down here. Canceling out of this then, and then moving across into the dashboard. Like I say, this is the kind of data screen where we can see all of the data that's been inputted and predict it onto charts um, for prediction in the future or for stuff that we've done in the past. Um, so as you can see, the main ones I have set up are the performance management chart with fitness, fatigue and form, uh, a pie chart to show percentage of activities done. And as you can see for me, a massive 76% or 77.6% running and then 21% bike, uh, sleep and then weight down here. Uh, finally, we have ATP, which I don't actually use. I believe this is currently set up on here, but I've not been using it. Um, and that is just your annual training plan. Uh, you can set this up and it will basically tell you what sort of distance or time you should be doing on any given week based on when your A and B goals are. Um, so that's Training Peaks as a whole. That's how I use it. Um, it's a pretty simple system. My, like I say, my coach uploads all the information to it. A uh, little bit more that we were going to look at. So if we go on to this one here, which is my drills and strides today. This is only a really short little workout because I do it so often and I'm doing drills and strides. I don't want to have to be constantly looking at my watch. I just automate the, the, the program. So as you can see on here, you can build these workouts. And if we go into this screen, this is where you can actually create them. Um, this is really good, really handy feature. If you've got one of the more advanced Garmin watches, uh, like the 945, um, this can obviously link through. So create the workout in here. As for this one, you'll see that I've got five times 20 seconds at an RPE of nine to 10 with a 40 second three to seven uh, RPE. So pretty much for me, this is 20 seconds flat out with 40 seconds recovery repeated five times. This automatically, as soon as I click save, syncs to my Garmin. So if I go onto my Garmin uh, today and I click the start screen, as you will see here, this then automatically comes up. And to start that workout, all I've got to do is hit start on the watch, acquire satellites and go from there. This will automatically click through the workout. So it will start the timer straight on the 20 seconds. As soon as that 20 seconds is stopped, it will go to the 40 seconds and it will just keep repeating. So it's really good because I know the workout I'm ahead. As soon as I hear my watch uh, alarm and vibrate, I know I'm just moving on to the next part and I don't have to constantly look at my watch counting the timer. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, uh, a little bit of an insight into what I do with my data uh, and obviously using technology to help me better understand exactly what's going on in my training. Um, with all the stuff that I've used today, the watches and the uh, smart scale, I will put a link to those in the YouTube description. So if you're interested in those, be sure to follow that link and you'll be able to get yourself some. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see any more content like it, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that you will be notified as soon as I upload a video. Hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll catch you in the next video.